Hello, welcome to the update. I'm Susie Thompson. Nikki Haley has officially pulled out of the race to become US president. The 52-year-old former UN ambassador had only managed to win over 86 delegates. Donald Trump has secured the support of 1,044. Haley says it's a moral imperative to stand by Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan. I said I wanted Americans to have their voices heard. I have done that. I have no regrets. And although I will no longer be a candidate, I will not stop using my voice for the things I believe in. Brittany Higgins sought hospital treatment after Tuesday's marathon mediation hearing in the defamation row between her and her former boss, Liberal Senator Linda Reynolds. The former staffer went to an emergency department but wasn't admitted to a ward. The hearing in Perth went for a marathon nine hours and a conference scheduled for the following day was abandoned. Businesses are hopeful the consumer watchdog's investigation into supermarket prices will highlight how retail competition differs in country areas. Areas. The ACCC is looking into price gouging at Australia's biggest retailers. A submission from the Business Council of Cooperatives and Mutuals wants the probe to look into business models in the bush. Chief Executive Melina Morrison says it's crucial it covers all grocers. We really welcome the ACCC broadening the lens in this inquiry into supermarket competition to also look at supplier commercial viability because that's vital uh, for all of Australians this really goes to the root of food security, which, of course, is a national security issue as well. British tabloids have revealed Sam Kerr's alleged racist slur towards a police officer. The Matildas captain is accused of calling him a stupid white bastard during a dispute over a taxi fare. Her lawyers are expected to fight the charges. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, Manly owner Scott Penn wants the NRL to ditch plans to give every club a chance to play in Las Vegas. He believes his team, the Sea Eagles, and the Roosters should return next year. The Sea Eagles and Roosters both sacrificed home games for the chance to play in the US. And the AFL season kicks off tonight with Sydney to host Melbourne at the SCG. In entertainment news, Netflix has renewed the live action Avatar The Last Airbender for seasons two and three. It will end with season three following the storyline from the animated version. And an ex-stripper who threatened to leak nude photos of Prince Harry on OnlyFans has had her account suspended. 52-year-old Carrie Royale says she was one of a number of strippers invited to join the Prince at his hotel suite in Vegas in 2012. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on with another update. I'm Susie Thompson.